Hi, everyone, and welcome to another mini lecture. For today's topic, we're going to be looking at complements and substitutes. Now, before I get too far into the video, I want to make sure everyone is on the same page insofar as when we are uh, discussing factors or the shifters of demand. And these are just going to be variables that directly cause either an increase or a decrease in demand, which can be depicted as a rightward or a leftward shift of the demand curve. Now, the primary uh, factors of demand are going to include things like income, market size, consumer tastes, expectations, complementary goods, and substitute goods, which are going to be the focus of today's video. Now, complements, these are just products that can be used together, which means when there's an increase in the demand for one of these goods, we're going to see an increase in the demand for the complement. Um, likewise, if we see an increase in the price of a complement, we're going to see a decrease in the demand for its complement good. Now, the most intuitive example that I came up with is going to be hot dogs and hot dog buns. Now, if what I'm trying to say is that if there's an increase in the demand for hot dogs, we're going to see an increase in the demand for hot dog buns. Now, this one is probably going to make a little more sense to you, especially if you do your grocery shopping and you pay attention to the advertisements and how different products are displayed. If there is a increase, or I should say a decrease in the price of hot dogs, we're likely going to see that you're going to wanna to buy more hot dog buns to go with the additional hot dogs that you are going to be purchasing. Now, grocery stores are going to be aware of this, and they're actually going to attempt to get you to purchase more of their complimentary goods that are associated with whichever good is on sale. And it's actually how they make their money back up that they might be losing from the uh, price decline and the advertised good. So next time you're at the grocery store and there's a sale on something like hot dog buns or hot dogs, pay attention. They likely have a display that has ketchup, mustard, charcoal, and other related items close by. Now, how does this look graphically? Well, we know that a decrease in the price of hot dog buns is going to result in an increase in the demand of hot dogs. I think that's fairly straightforward. And that can be depicted as a rightward shift of the demand curve. Now, if there's an increase in the price of hot dog buns, we're going to see a decrease in the demand for hot dogs which is depicted as a leftward shift of the demand curve. Now substitutes for this, I picked apples and oranges, but these are just going to be products that can be used in the place of each other. Now kind of going back to the grocery store example, if I were to go shopping for fruits and I saw that the price of apples had increased, I would look for an alternative and that would be oranges. So I would buy more oranges or my demand for oranges would increase, which would be depicted as a rightward shift of the demand curve. Now, the prices of apples decreased, then I might consider buying more apples or buying apples instead of oranges. So my demand for oranges would decrease, which would be a leftward shift of the demand curve for oranges. Now, thank you for watching. I hope this made sense. I tried to keep these examples as intuitive as possible. Please let me know if you have any questions and have a good night.